And of course they are essential because we have to wear shoes. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and welcome back to another fashion video. So today I'm going to share with you my top 10 spring essentials, things for that I will be reaching for all the time this spring season. This list might not be the same every single year. This list might not be the things that you reach for, but like I always say, the things that I um, look for are not rules that are written in the sky. You do you and I do me. So I really hope that you will enjoy today's video. If you like what you see in today's video, then do not forget to give video some love by giving it a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And now let's jump in to my spring essentials. First item on the list are going to be coats. And in spring, you can wear many coats, which is why spring is one of my most, most favorite seasons of all time. Of course, we all know the classic trench coat. I've got this one the white one from H&M. It's a few years old and I actually figured out that it brought this one back. And I also have a beige one and I also have a lighter pink one. Um, if you're looking for really good trench coats, then please check out the brand Morgan. Morgan is seriously my favorite brand for trench coat and also H&M. I really think that their quality is great for the price that they give you. Morgan is more expensive, but Oh my God, the quality and the designs are spot on. If you are also really a girl like me and you also love capes, then this is the season to go for it because the temperatures are not cold. It's not freezing anymore, but it is also not already like really, really warm, especially in the mornings when you go to work, you want to still feel warm when you walk out the door and capes is just perfect. If you have a few, for example, my beloved pink coat, uh, cape, sorry, from Chicwish. This one is such an essential. I also have other capes that are shorter in design and also lo not lined. Not that this one is lined, but this one has like the faux fur and it's really high up here. So it is quite warm and it's a little bit longer. Just a little bit of touch of warmth, but not that much. So perfect for spring. And last but not least, I have this amazing coat. This one is from another story. So it is a few years old and originally they brought this out actually in their autumn winter collection. But for me, this is an absolute spring spring coat. This is for like the early spring, you know, when it is actually still cold uh, in the morning because this one is of course completely lined um, and it is a more heavier jacket than the trench coat or than the cape. This coat looks particularly good with the outfit that I'm wearing right now. You might recognize this over from my Instagram because I absolutely love how this looks. It gives me really like chic and cool vibes, modern girl, you know. I also have another more like shorter jacket with more brighter colors, uh, like pastel colors, because obviously pastel colors are always good when it comes to spring. Next item is sunglasses. I actually bought myself a new pair of high-end designer-esque sunglasses. So I got myself a pair of Kate Spade. I love the case that it comes in. It is like this bright pink and it is actually green from the back, but I'm, I just love it. And it's like a, a cat eye design and I think it is just really, really luxurious. If you do not know the brand, then you will not know that this is Kate Spade because it only has like the Spade logo on the sides of the um, uh, of, the, of it. Usually I don't even like sunglasses on myself and many people might say that this is not really the look for me, but personally, I love it. I love how this makes me feel luxurious, high-end, classy. Um, I went for a brown, um, a brown color. Very happy and definitely an essential because the sun will shine a lot in spring. Fingers crossed. Next on the list is tweed and pleat. Now, what do I mean with that? It is, of course, have some tweed pieces in your wardrobe and do not forget pleated skirts. Pleated skirts are one of my favorite things to wear, just also through winter, but also in spring because I just love the design of the skirt. Usually it's like a skater effect, which means it doesn't really like accentuate the hips too much, which I really love. And I just have a thing for these pleats. It's really preppy, it's really Blair Waldorf, so it will probably always be one of my favorite things to wear. 
This pleated skirt is from Chic Wish. This one is actually a little bit more like a thicker material. It's like a faux suede material, but I love the color. It's real bright. It's like the cream, cream white, perfect for spring. I also have been beginning to love midi skirts. Pleated midi skirts are one of the most feminine things you could ever think of wearing, definitely also in spring, because it is very versatile. If it's still cold, you can actually wear fleece-lined leggings, you can wear knee boots, uh, knee-high boots you can wear with sweaters but when the temperatures goes down like a real spring weather you can wear with sandals and with lovely blouses it is such a versatile piece and uh, I think it's one of the most feminine pieces in my wardrobe that I have I have the one from Chic Wish that is like pink pink here on the top and then goes to white at the bottom it is one of my favorite ones. I've worn it also to work. So it is a very versatile piece that I can wear in my day-to-day -day life. And then for tweeds, a tweed jacket is like an essential. You need to have a tweed jacket, at least one. I have a few actually. Uh, this one is quite new in my wardrobe, showing you this a couple of weeks ago because it is the um, one from H&M. Absolutely love it with the gold buttons and everything. Very, very, very chic looking, really more high end than it actually is. I have this blazer, which is from Zara, which is a couple of years old. And this is the only blazer that I have or the only jacket that I have with like this color detail. Every one, every other blazer that I have is colorless. But don't forget the tweed dresses. I have, again, this one from H&M. I bought this one last year. It is an almost pure white color and I absolutely love wearing this with, for example, a tweed jacket. Next up is choose your signature handbag for this spring. So for me, that is definitely a lighter color. I mean, obviously you can wear every handbag that you want that you feel comfortable that fits your essentials but for me first up is of course my coach bag i could have not done this video without mentioning it at least once so it is going to be the first time that i'm going to wear it actually in spring because i got this last in june so um, i do not even have a full year but god did i already get my wear out of this so many times and then second up, I have this one, which is also new in my wardrobe. But this one is the one from Fable England. It is beautiful. I love the top handle here. It is so luxurious looking. It also has a crossbody, so you can wear it in many, many ways. This bag needs to be seen. And this bag is the bag of dreams. I mean, um, I do not need to go into details about this one <laughs> at all. One essential that is very new that would not have been in my essentials like two years ago because I only fell in love with them last year are flared jeans or white leg jeans. Now my two favorites are these two. And yes, a black pair, I know, shocking. So these are the white leg trousers from Chic Wish. They make me feel very luxurious, really high end, really classy and elegant. So, so much wear out already of these. And these are the flared black ones. These are from the brand Only. And I just only bought them like last December for a job that I was doing. So really love to wearing them definitely with for example a tweed jacket it is the look of my dreams i absolutely adore that look i'm not quite sure what it does but it gives me like cool vibes modern girl vibes i also have a pink one which is also flared at the bottom and i have a blue one which is uh, like a white leg one this one is from the brand Dorothy Perkins, I believe, and this one, uh, the blue one is from H&M and it has like these gold buttons here. You already have seen all of these trousers, so I'm not going to style them all up. I will insert some pictures and I actually am going to do a video about trousers. So uh, that will probably be next up, uh, up next week. So stay tuned for that. While we are talking about bottoms, of course, I could not left out my new pair of white jeans. These are from the brand Norfi. Never heard of it. First time ever that I bought it's something from them and they're not really that known. I couldn't find anything about them online. But these are my new in uh, white jeans. I already did a whole video about how to style them. So make sure you, that you check that out if you want more inspo on them. Uh, personally, I just really wanted a pair of high-waisted 
white jeans with um, a really modern look so not skinny not only do I really love the color white in spring but this is also a lovely one for when the days are a little bit more cooler because you are totally covered up here from the bottom and you can just pair this with many many things you can pair with blouses or you can pair it with knitted tops uh, and it will still be very 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 spring appropriate because it is a bright color white jeans in a modern fit so yeah very much an essential for me and very happy that I found this one just on time for spring. The last essential that has everything to do with the bottom half are of course tights. And in spring I do not wear anything else than skin colored tights. The one that I'm wearing right now, skin colored tights. It is absolutely amazing how they transform your legs in like this sun-kissed glow and like this uh, effect with like a filter on it because my looks look like 10 times better with tights on. And I've been where I wear them almost in every video. I wear them almost in every post that I have with bare legs. Sometimes obviously I do not wear them if my if I have like fake tan my legs but personally I love the effect that the tights give me. 10 years ago I would have never done this I was really really unhappy with how my legs looked and this is a perfect solution they make my legs look so much better and that is why they are an absolute essential. Of course we also need to talk about shoes. Now shoes in spring is so much fun because you can wear actually kind of like everything because we have the most versatile temperatures in spring it is real quite fun do not go for over the knee boots that is really not done and i also think they're maybe kind of like out of fashion a little bit i haven't actually worn them a lot myself this autumn winter but you can definitely still go for knee high boots now these are my new love of my life i have been wearing them absolutely to death they go perfectly with this outfit i know they are like a little bit of a, a darker beige but for some sort of reason these are the most stylish boots that i have bought in a while i bought these in march so they're quite new and i just love the gold heel from the back i'm obsessed don't forget that you can also still wear ankle boots again go for brighter go for lighter colors just as well with the knee-high boots don't go for your brown suede boots anymore put them already away and go for like bright ankle boots or bright knee-high boots then the fun part comes because when the temperature actually goes up when the spring temperatures actually allow you to show your feet out again you can have some real fun with shoes so for example i have these two-toned shoes i've got actually quite a lot of them these are from the brand bianca d these i bought i don't even think last year but the year before that and they still are in quite good condition because i also do <laughs> take good care of my shoes i always put them away very safely and they have just like these really luxurious vibes with like the two tones and these are also like really good quality they're real leather and um, yeah, I've been wearing them absolutely already so much, as you can see, but definitely a good one. Um, then I also have the same idea for these ones from H&M. These were like really affordable, much more affordable than the ones I just showed you. These are lovely ballerinas, but again, like the two-tone um, contrast. Uh, really Chanel inspired of course. I will also include my Vivea shoes again the two tones these are I think the Julie shoes um, they have like a lovely heel uh, very very low only like four or five centimeters I think these are in a more like beigey color and then with the black toe like so nice they so like super super classy uh, and like I said with the heel gives you total different vibes than when you wear flats than when you wear ballerinas and then when the temperature really allows it my princess shoes come out because these are my most beautiful shoes I think I have in my wardrobe at the moment these are from Caprice and I love them they actually are a little bit too big for me but I really don't care I really had to have them I had to wear them when it comes to spring shoes these were probably the ones that I will wear the most you will see me wear the most and of course they are essential because we have to wear shoes 
One of the things that I absolutely love that you can wear in spring are knitted tops with short sleeves. So I changed up the look for this next essential because I love these tops so much that I made it an essential because you can only wear this when the temperature is exactly right. Going into the spring season that we're doing that very slowly, we're doing that very carefully and still have like the knitted fit. So temperature is really important when you wear something like this. And this particular one is from Shop Cider. It's not the perfect combination. I probably would not have like paired this together, but for the video, uh, I just did. Um, this one has the lovely flower pattern on them. I've shown you this also in another video. So you probably uh, still remember this one if you've seen the one. I also have this one from another story. Now this is a couple of years old. If you've been following me for a while, you will remember this. And if you love fashion in general, you will probably know this because this one went actual viral over on, I think maybe Instagram like two years or three years ago already. I mean, gosh, I have this one for so long. I love the buttons on this one. They are like little flowers and the sweetheart neckline. It's just one of the most iconic things I think what another stories has ever made. My last essential is a little bit of a cheat because this is not an item. It is not an essential that you need to style up an outfit but it is actually wearing things that make you happy wear things that you love personally I think that when you wear an outfit that you absolutely love you can also like tell that to other people without actually saying something people will just see that about you and when you also wear it with confidence when you wear it with stretch holders and your head up high it just makes all the difference it doesn't really matter which is your style it doesn't have to be what i like it can just do what you like but wear the things that you love wear what makes you happy and wear it with confidence and with pride this also brings us to the end of the video. I really hope that you liked the essentials that I talked about today, that I've shown you today. Let me know in the comments down below if I missed any. Let me know what your essentials are for the spring season. If you liked what you see in today's video, do not forget to give you some love by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, then do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And I will see you all with a brand new video next week. <laughs> Bye now.